Today we're going to play a little game with you. Name that price of the whiskey. Does free count? I mean, sometimes in my book. It always counts with you. Welcome back to another edition of Bourbon Kingdom. I'm David. And I'm Zach. And today we're going to talk about the, what the price should be for certain whiskeys and bourbons. I think at the end of the day, one of the biggest issues that consumers have with whiskey now is how much we are paying for whiskey. True. Um, I think there are certain brands that we look at that have betrayed us over the years on how they've raised prices. Yeah. I think there are certain brands that don't get enough credit for as cheap as what they are, but we kind of still blame them for the hype of it, and then everything goes to secondary. Yep. And then the whole craft debate. Oh, craft the debate. The old craft debate. Because I feel like the old adage of, well, you know, craft whiskey has to charge more because they're a little guy, so, you know, all this stuff. And I'm like, yeah, but now they're starting to get out of hand. And I almost feel like it's gouging more just because they can use the... The term, well, we're a craft brand, so we're allowed to charge more. Uh, I mean, and by I, the way, it, it, oh, sorry, I, I, I'm interrupting you. But by the way, they tend, I'm not going to say all craft is bad, I'm not. But we know of a lot more craft brands that we don't find very good compared to maybe some of the other big boy brands. Now, and, we, give, and we've talked about this a little bit before. I yes. think uh, even off camera, we've we've talked about this idea of like, See the, craft brand the the idea of reviewing craft whiskey is appealing to I think me maybe I don't know if this is more much you than me um, but for different reasons but for different reasons but the truth is is like in order for us to get it we have to spend a lot of money on it to know whether it's good and chances yeah. are some I mean. 50% of the time, I mean, it's a 50-50 shot to me. I, uh, I don't even know. If it may not good. even be 50-50, but I'm giving, I wish it, it, was. I'm giving it to the benefit we, of the doubt. We have found some really good ones over, yeah, over yeah, the years, for sure. For sure. Yeah. But it does make it more difficult. With yeah. all that being said, that doesn't just... It, so th there's a lot of different arguments out there for this yeah. stuff. So we just kind of want to talk about... Do you want to have a more low-carb diet? I know for myself, I do. Uh, and noodles have been kind of out of my plan for a while. Until I found today's sponsor, Emmy. Emmy is a tasty way to cut carbs from that diet so you can feel better every day. This is a high protein, low carb, vegan ramen, which allows you to stay full, fuller longer, have energy, and keeps you on track for your health goals. I know for uh, my wife and I, uh, we have kind of started to, to um, kind of eat healthier. Well, over the, it, well, it is about that time of year. To yeah, get on, it, it really is. Yeah, this is actually the wrong time because everything <laughs> good that you eat comes out now. Fair. Uh, but my wife and I have uh, really started to try to like track our calories, exercise, eat better. Um, and I know Emmy has kind of helped us stay on track with our um, cal calorie intake and our protein intake and stuff like that. And so it's been a, like a, a really good um, insertion into our diet. So it's been it's been cool to have, have that be a part of a, uh, what we're eating these days. Oh, for sure. Yeah. So go to emmyeats.com slash bourbon kingdom or by clicking the link in the description to get 15% off your first order. This is emmyeats.com slash bourbon kingdom to get 15% off your first order. So try Emmy for yourself and see what ramen should be. All these, we have eight bottles and we're gonna talk about what the price is and then what we feel like it should be. By the way, we're not factoring in the secondary, some of these no, bottles. No, no, no. This will not have a secondary value. Some of them will. Um, yeah. So take that for what it is. Yeah, I, I agree with that. All right, so first one. We're gonna start with the old Green River bourbon now we've talked about this before we reviewed this before this is about i think 35 bucks 35 bucks so what's your, i'll let you start and then i'll i'll come in afterwards uh i honestly think that this is probably priced just about right okay um i enjoy it okay i enjoy it for the 35 bucks that it is if it was much more than that i don't know that i would be in on it 
because they have single barrels now, mm -hmm. and I would much rather buy a single barrel. That gives you a little bit of more uh, an opportunity for a bit of a change. So you, you said a perfect point there with the single barrels. Before single barrels came out, I would have said this is actually, I think, kind of like underpriced. Yeah, I would But now that. since they brought out the single barrels and now that is some of an option, like today, the day we're doing it, like the junkies are dropping their single and barrel. And it was what, 60 bucks? I think, I th something along somewhere, that. Somewhere around I, I think 60 it was like bucks for a single 70. barrel. But I think most of them are around like 65-ish. Yeah, yeah. So I think if you would have told me this would have been 45 bucks, I still wouldn't have had a problem with it. No, I wouldn't have but, had a problem with it either, but. But I love that this is 35 and I think the, what Green River did is a perfect example. If you have the ability to come out with a new product, yep. gets in all these people's hands, they know they have a good product, boom. Yep. Perfectly priced. All right. Next one is a Joseph A. Magnus Cigar Ooh. Blend. A favorite that David's re that we've reviewed this I year. I mean, too. this year, uh, the the 174 batch that I have. I don't even know which one this one is. Um, this is uh, 79. Yeah, the 174 batch I had is really good, um, and it was for us around two, two hundred, and that's that was MSR, kind of MSRP, a little bit and, over MSRP, but nothing crazy. But it was at a store, that, like not, yeah, nothing crazy, because I think MSRP is what 179. Uh, I don't know. I think it's around. We don't see them for anything under like 220 around here. Yeah. So I, I don't know what they are MSRP, but shout out to Jack because we got this from Jack. Yeah. Uh, so so the truth is is uh, this is, I think, oddly priced about right as well. Um, just for for me, because I think at least the the one I've had late recently is super 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 good, mm -hmm. and um, if it's that good, I don't mind paying the two hundred dollars that it was for it. So. Again, we haven't even talked about this, and you're mm. like spot on with like these yeah. points over here. I agree with what Dave said in the sense, like if you know it's good, I'm okay spending two hundred dollars for it. Yeah, I like these a lot more between one twenty five and one fifty. I, I think for those, then they become much more of like, oh, this is like now nah, I have to have it. I, whenever we see these around here for like two twenty five, I'm kind of like, like no, thank you. Like I, I'm just not as interested as what I once was. Yeah. I can see that. It's also, they haven't been as good as what they yeah. once were. So, as much as that kind of sucks, like, because, I mean, I used to love these, especially, like, the really older batches. Um, I just don't know. Like, I've seen a couple of them here recently, and I bought them. Yeah. Like, I just haven't yeah, really been, been interested in them. But the price, I, I'm lucky enough to have a couple. We have that one that, like I said, we got from yeah. Jack. And, and that one might just be drinking. I've, I've had 174 one's really and 175 recently. Yeah. And before then, I hadn't had anything since like 120 something. Mm -hmm. And see, I think like around like the like 180 to 120 range, they got a little flatter. Yeah. Like they lost a little bit of their love and characteristics. Yeah. And, and then. All right. Next one. So we were split on that one. Yeah. Kind of split. Kind of split. Yeah. 1920. I mean, this is like a 50-ish dollar bottle. Kind of depends on where you're buying it from. Some places you can find them in the bulk stores are a little bit cheaper. Yeah. Some places they might be pushing around 60. Realistically, what do you think this price should be on this? <laughs> I keep feeling like I'm going to say the same thing over and over again. Uh, but I think it's priced right. I think 55 to 60 bucks is about right for it. It is quality, don't get me wrong, mm -hmm. but I think if you take it too much, if you took it too much higher, I don't think it needs to be lower for sure. Um, now, some of their other Whiskey Row series, I could be like, yeah, you could get I, sure. 35, 40 bucks, yeah, yeah that's fine. Uh, but I feel like this is the Trophy Whiskey Row series. Oh, uh, for, for sure. And so, for sure. like 55 to 60 bucks, I think is like perfect. Because then you start getting into their allocated level things, and I, I don't think this needs to be in the allocated level of, of things. Let me ask you a question. How many barrel strengths of theirs do you think is for sure better than this? Well, you're asking the wrong person because you know. <laughs> I'm not buying barrel strengths. I know you're not. Uh, that's why this is perfect because this is 55, 60 Well, bucks. no, I know the price is perfect, but here's, here's what I'm saying. So here recently, we've noticed... 
that the old Forrester barrel strings have went down in price. Yeah. Which is actually kind of nice. They're more like around 80 instead of 100, like yeah. how they all were. If this was around 80 bucks, I still think you buy it. Like, I think there's... I. If I say this and ruin it for everybody, y'all can come pitchfork me later. I think it's under. I think it's undervalued for what it is. I think the quality of it is. I think it punches up. I think it can be a lot of stuff that's eighty to hundred bucks sitting on shelves. I agree. I, I, I mean, love. I love I, I this mean, bottle. As much as we like, we did our we did our big uh, price tier list, and it won. Yeah. And it beat it everything did. above its price point. Beat stuff up two hundred dollars. Yeah. So to me, I think it's. Almost borderline criminally undervalued. All right, next one. Four roses, barrel strength. Doesn't matter on the recipe, just the four roses, barrel strength. Uh, I'm going to say this, but I want, like, I have a love for four roses. Same. I do. Uh, I still, I, I feel like this is overpriced now. Okay. Uh, with as much as they put out and as with the regularity that they put it out, the 75 to $80 that it was even just a year and a half ago. Yeah. A couple years ago. Um, and you could still buy two at the gift shop. Yeah. Uh, I felt like it was one of the best values in bourbon. I agree. Uh, now that it's a hundred, like you're spending like 107, sometimes a hundred and like, if you get this at a store, it's probably closer to 120. Uh, Depending on the store you're yeah. getting it from, but sure. just but just saying, like at the distillery, I think it's 107, 108, something like that. Yeah, I can't remember the price after tax, but I, I just I I literally put this on here because I thought you would agree with me on this, which which we do. I think these are pricing them out of what they were. I have two at my house right now, one open, one unopened, and I will. Once I'm done with the one to open, mm -hmm. I will open the next one and then I will get a replacement. But I'm not like buying four and five. When I used to have four or five, six of them just sitting on my shelf. I agree. Uh, I don't do that anymore because like I, I just think even though that's only like you think in the grand scheme of things, that's only $20 more or $25, mm -hmm. $30 more. That's still $25 or $30 more than this is just a good bottle of bourbon not a great value of bourbon. I, I, I agree personally. So. All right. Uh, next one. Rittenhouse Rye. I don't really have an opinion about Rittenhouse <laughs> Rye. I mean, I'm honestly speaking, like I'm sure it's fine. Um, <laughs> but it is what it is. What, how much is this? Like 25? Yeah, it's cheap. It's yeah. super cheap. Yeah. 20, $25. It's probably priced right. I think it's actually priced right too. Um, I think whenever it comes to like really cheap rise, this is probably one of your better options. I still would rather have an old force ride, rather spend a little bit more money than get that one. But here's my point to this. If you want something that has the Heaven Hill profile of, of a rye, I think this is the best version of it compared to the Elijah Craig rye, which I like, I know he hates. That one's worse than the old Forster Rye. Oh my gosh. Sorry, I feel pal like. sorry his palate's broken. But I think this is a good, acceptable yeah. uh, kind of kind of yeah. rye. Also, I haven't had the single barrel, so I can't speak for those. Yeah, and I, I, I would just generally say if there's something under $25, chances are it's probably worth its money. Um, no, it's not, not, not always not, true. Not, not always true, always but true. I'm just saying like, Overpriced. I mean, twenty five dollars. I just spent twenty five dollars like parking at a parking garage. Ooh. Buffalo Traces B Tech Collection Eagle Rare Seventeen. Eagle Rare Seventeen. Any year doesn't matter. Any year, pick a year. We all pick a year. Um, retail. I mean, you, I mean retail. They're one hundred and ten bucks. One hundred and ten bucks. One hundred twenty bucks. Yeah. You, MSRP. You are. You're getting a souped up version. Uh, we've talked we talked mm -hmm. about this off air. You're getting a souped up version of Eagle Rare, and Eagle Rare is thirty bucks. Yep. I don't think it's worth seventy more dollars. Oh, you don't think this is worth seventy more dollars? Like if you're thinking about it, I don't think it's worth seventy more dollars than no, uh, but Eagle I, Rare. No, but I could also argue that. But I mean, if you can get this at MSRP, you're like if you see this, you're gonna get it. Like you're gonna buy it. Like if this is there and you're you're well, making well, a let choice. me ask you a question. If you found an Eagle Rare at what would be what would be the most 
you'd be willing to pay for it. Uh, if are you, you to drink to, to, to drink, drink. Uh, <laughs> always to drink. I would pay 110 bucks probably. Would you only pay 110 bucks or probably. would you go more? No, nah, probably 110 bucks. I think I would go significantly more. I mean, like I like. I'm, here's the thing: we all get on Buffalo Trace for what they do, it, in the sense of creating a false market or you know building up secondary or not building up secondary, whatever you want to argue, right? I, you got to give credit where credit's due in the sense of now you might say, well, you and I aren't going to see it at that cost, but somebody eventually somewhere will. Somebody see it at that gets cost. it at that cost. Somebody gets it at that cost. I just. I don't know those people. Well, we know a couple. Yeah, but that is true. We, we do actually know. do know a couple who get who, uh, who get a lot at that yeah. cost. But with all that being said, um, I mean, I think I would pay a couple hundred dollars for this pretty easy MSRP to drink. Like, now we we have a channel, so it's a little different. Like, if you yeah. told me I could go buy one of these for like three hundred bucks to review for the channel because you all would like to see it, then I would I would probably go do it. But I think yeah. these are like king right now. Is like between three to four hundred dollars, yeah. and you're gonna spend it on a king. Yeah, I think regardless if those hit your profile or not, I think these should at least be that same cost. Yeah, I, again, this is good. It's just mm -hmm. like I'm not saying that it's not good. You're just not super excited about an eagle rare. Yeah. No, I've never <laughs> been super excited about an eagle That's rare. That's fair. Uh, second to last one. This is the Rossville Rossville Union uh, Barrel Proof. This is a barrel proof rye yep. whiskey. This is 112 proof. MGP, five, I think it's five years old, or around five years. Don't Here's the interesting thing about the old Rossville for me. I didn't love that bottle when it first, when we, because we reviewed this, didn't we? I believe we've we talked did. about it. We've talked about times. it. Uh, I didn't love the bottle when it first came out, uh, but I have actually sipped on it a couple other times at uh, a couple of liquor barns. Mm -hmm. And. It has strangely grown on me. Yeah, it's MGB, right? Yeah. Of course it's going to grow it's on you. It's strangely grown on me the more it's, you know, the more I've, I've drank on it. And I, I would say that it's probably undervalued in some ways. I think I would pay a little bit more, maybe not a ton more for it than what this was. Because these were like 56 or yeah. somewhere right around in there. I, I, I think that's, to me, probably... 70 to 80 bucks I, I'd, I'd still be willing to buy it again i would agree um i think this is just a little bit undervalued i i think there it's just a much smaller market so you got to find a lot of those people yeah. who want the barrel proof rise out there but like i said this is mgp it's really really good yeah you're gonna be happy with it yeah for sure all right last one one of Dave's personal favorites. And sometimes he just puts things in a video just to see how I will respond to it. Just to upset him. Uh, just to upset me. Russell's Reserve Single Rick House. Also, I want to see all the comments in, in there about, you know, how overpriced this is. But with all that being said, uh, hit the like, subscribe, notifications. And I will, I, I mean, I will agree it is overpriced. <laughs> I mean, it's severely overpriced. But dag on it if it is not really good. <laughs> and I can't get over that. And yeah. I'm very glad that I own one of these, even though I spent entirely too much money on it. But I don't regret it. No and, sometimes, and sometimes you're going to overpay for things. And it just happens. We do it all the time. Yeah. We yeah. do it all the time. I'm, uh, right, I'm right there with you. It's overpriced. It's gotten to the point now outside of Russell's 10, which I'm just assuming that goes up to like $60 next year. Yeah. Uh, that they're just all over. The Russell's line with Wild Turkey is just to the point to where it's overpriced. And it sucks. Yeah. But it is what it is. Yep. So, but Dave's right. It's really freaking good. It is really, it's freaking, really good. freaking good. Uh, yeah. All right. So that's, that's all we have. So let us know if you all really mm -hmm. like this video. <laughs> Uh, and if y'all want us to keep doing these, we'll look at maybe throwing some more of those out. Yeah, for sure. So. Yeah. All right. Till next time. We'll see you. We'll see you.